Welcome to Rick's Corner, brought to you by Old School Labs, the brand I trust and the only one I put my name to. Use my code, Drayson12, on the link below. Rick's Corner, the man, the myth, the legend, now on with the show. Welcome to another episode of Rick's Corner. There is a subject I thought about last night, and I wanted to bring it up today because it applies to all of you, and that is photography and posing for bodybuilding. That's something that's been left out in a lot of our conversations, but it's one of the, probably the most important things you'll ever do. Uh, a lot of people send me pictures of themselves in shape or out of shape and trying to get in shape and they're posing in the mirror. And what I've noticed is most people don't know how to pose. There's a real art to it and it's not easy. If you're flexing your bicep and you've got your twist in your body, you need to flex your calf, your leg and everything else. It takes a lot of work. You want everything to be uniform in that picture and you want it to be balanced out so it's not stupid. I've seen people stretch out and they lean way over and they flex something and their whole body's just not right. It's just out of, uh, out of shape. Posing is an art, and posing should be done every day. It's part of your workout. You spend 10, 15 minutes in front of the mirror and pose, and follow the, some of the poses you see in the magazines of the, of the, of the major guys, because then you'll get it right. But it also brings out muscularity. It's like an isometric uh, exercise that brings out the cuts and all the muscle shape and everything else, much more than the weights do. And a lot of people don't realize that. That's a big part of getting in shape. Then, if you're gonna take pictures, you want to do them under the right light because light will flatten you out. If you have a direct light on you, just at you, it'll flatten you out. You need an overhead light to come down and show the shadows under your pecs, under your abs. Bill Pearl was uh, one of the best posers I've known and he would take pictures in his gym under a skylight because the skylight had diffused light that came down and made his body look like silk. It looked really, really well. Some of the other photographers would like to use the beach, Santa Monica, for example. They'd go out on 11, 11.30 in the morning when the sun was just almost overhead to just a slight angle and turn in a direction where you could see the shadow from your chin on the top of your chest. If, it, if the shadow was here, that meant the light was right on your whole body. And that would make you look a whole lot better. Now people used to say, why do you oil up and do this? Well, oil, baby oil for pictures, glistens your muscle. It brings out the three-dimensional look of it. It makes it stand out better. Uh, it, it, you don't have to be like soaked in olive oil or something, but just a light coat of oil on your skin and the right lighting and you'll look like a million bucks. It'll change the whole look of your body. Add to that a little bit of a tan because you need to have a tan. If you're white, then you won't have any shadows at all because everything's white and it just blinds out. Those are some of the things you should do if you're trying to take pictures and pose. Now I want to talk a bit about the photographers because the photographers that we used back in the day have all been gone a long time. They're deceased. He had Artie Zeller. Artie Zeller was one of the best photographers that Joe Weider used. He did all the photos of Arnold and Franco and Dave Draper and Frank Zinn and all the major guys. Uh, Zeller worked at the post office in Santa Monica. When Arnold first moved here, he got him a P.O. Box. P.O. Box 1234 so he could have a mail order business on his courses and t-shirts. I remember this so well. And then he would go out and take pictures of Arnold on the beach or working out or whatever. And now his pictures were always black and white for the most part and they had this luxurious black, gray, and white contrast to it that just looked like licorice. I mean, these are the best photos I've ever seen. The contrast of the, of the tones were perfect, and they were glossy. I have never seen black and white photos like that before, that good. Really, well, there are some are, but not as good as his. His were the best. Already passed away years ago. Cliff Swan was another guy that did photography. He had a full-time job, but he did most of my pictures and a few of my friends, and he'd take us to the beach and he'd take them. And they were always centered properly, they were always posed properly, they were always, always lit properly. He took a lot of pride in getting it just right. So um, that was another one. John Bailey, who owned Iron Man magazine, was also a competitive bodybuilder, and he knew what to look for in a photo. So he would take photos, and a lot of his, a lot of his photos have been published in Iron Man and other magazines. Then we had Gene Mose. Gene Mose started probably, oh man, I want to say back in the late 50s, 60s, at Vince's gym. Gene competed in bodybuilding. He passed away a few years ago. But he took pictures of Dory Scott, Don Haworth, and all the guys from, from uh, Vince's gym. 
Now this was in the valley and all of us were in the beach. It's like two different, uh, it's like high school rivals. They had the valley and we had the beach, but they all had great bodies and Gene did all their photos. His niece contacted me just a few days ago on Facebook telling me that she has a collection of 20,000 of his photos, his slides, his uh, um, transparencies and all of them and she wants to sell them. So if you're interested in them at all, her name is Leslie Mose, she's on my Facebook, M-O-Z-E-E -E, I believe. Um, I don't know what you would do with them because these photos were, they've all been published and she wants a lot of money for them. I don't think they're worth that kind of money. But he was a good photographer and I'm putting some of these up that you can see. So if, if you want to have the right photos, look at the right light, get the right balance of uh, background. The background should be clear. You don't want a distortion of trees and stuff growing out of your head and out of your arms. You don't want that. You want a plain background. And you want to make sure the light is overhead coming down and use, uh, they used film, but today is everything digital. So uh, it's a whole different world out there. Just as good though. And um, Pose, learn how to pose. Learn how to pose so your poses look right. Have someone videotape you posing. Watch them. Take, make sure that you got the right angles from front and back and side and all that. That everything is in line. Uh, doing vacuums for your abs is one of the best things you can do to get your, your waist sucked in small. Um, side chest shot, what a lot of people don't realize when you do a side set chest shot and you bring your arm back, you squeeze your bicep against your rib cage and it makes your bicep full and pushes it out. A lot of people know that you can do that. That's another trick. Tricep too. So uh, not everything is like you see. Some things are just an illusion, and that's how it works. Anyway, I wanted to bring that up. I think it's really interesting. I like the work these guys did back then. There's new photographers today that I'm sure are just as good. Mike Nouveau, he's great. And uh, some of these guys that shoot the bodybuilding stuff is great. Alex Ardente now is one that he's been on my show. He's phenomenal. He, gets, he did a lot of stuff with Rich Piana and videos in his lighting, in his color, and all that just like right on the money. He's done a ton. Of, uh, of muscle fitness covers so um, hopefully I helped you I hope I did keep training hard and watch what you're eating and try your posing do it for like a month take a look at the difference in your body and then take some pictures and look at them put them up and send them to us let us have a look at what you look like thank you very much and we'll see you all next time bye bye hope you enjoyed the video brought to you by old school labs use my discount code Grayson 12 on the link below at oldschoollabs.com Hey everyone, now you can have the Gold's Gym logo drawn by me, the artist Rick Drayson, personalized and made out to you and signed by me to frame and put on your gym wall or wherever you see fit to do so. It's a piece of bodybuilding history. It will never be duplicated again. It's the largest selling icon t-shirt logo in the world. And I'm the guy that drew it and I will draw it for you. Just go to my website, rickdrayson.com and order there. You can pay through PayPal and it'll be sent out right away. And be sure to watch Rick's Corner for all the videos on bodybuilding, nutrition, fitness, pro wrestling, and anything that suits your interests as far as getting physically fit and being the best you can be from the golden era of bodybuilding. Baby, see you next time.